It's time for Focus Forward, sponsored by Invest Grand Bahama. It's Grand Bahama's best talk show, highlighting all of the positive things happening in Freeport. Look forward to a special guest each week that will tell you about events, activities, and initiatives that are making a remarkable impact on our community. You'll also hear from local business owners and get a heads up on deals and special promotions. It's time to Focus Forward. Good morning and welcome back. We are live on Grand Bahama's Best Talk Show, Focus Forward, sponsored by the Invest Grand Bahama Unit of the Grand Bahama Port Authority. My name is Glendia Sweeting, the Business Development Officer at GBPA, and I am joined by my co-host, Alex Thompson, Executive Director of the Downtown Freeport Business Association. Alex, good morning. Good morning. I feel extra special today with all this red hair, and you just said Alex Thompson. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't take much to get you excited these it days. It, it does, because it's Christmas, much. it's the holiday it's season, Christmas. so I'm you're getting feeling like, a little yeah, different. I'm getting in the mood. <laughs> I'm there already. Well, that's good, that's good, because today is going to be a dynamic show. We have an array of guests in studio today. Full house. We're going to be talking about how to start a business in Freeport, and yes. we, have, we have the Grand Bahama Port Authority here as well. And of course, we're going to be talking about how to create a business plan. You know, there are lots of programs and initiatives that are yes. happening now with the Port Authority, and also with the... The government of the Bahamas in the office of the Prime Minister and so we want to be able to get people informed and get them prepared so that they can be able to vie for, for some of these funds and things and, that will be giving out to help get them. our small business community up and running more vibrant as ever because now they'll have all the information they need to get going hit the ground running I know right so yes. we're gonna get into all of that in just a minute of course we also have festival Noel we have the organizers here with us yes. today and they're gonna be giving away a free ticket so definitely if you want to try to get that ticket to go to festival Noel you have to stay tuned with us I went to festival Noel last year mm. I had an awesome time did you leave, did you leave standing up I did. Of okay, course. I was just checking. What so are you just, talking about? So you just I tasted I some of the wine, together. not all the wine. Yeah, I sip here, sip, sip there. there. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, okay. I kept I'm just it together. To make sure. Just yeah, yeah. No, sure. I'm good. You don't have to worry about. I me. will have a camera on her this Friday. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Fridays, Freeport Flash Friday. Oh yeah. Is tomorrow. It is tomorrow. So it's, it's a it's, shopping experience it for everybody. It's the largest citywide shopping event of yes. the year, and it's the second annual Freeport Flash Friday, and I'm very excited about it because we have over. I think it's over 70 or 80 stores participating mm. citywide. Wow. So we've got Port Lakai, we've got downtown, we've got Carroll Beach, all over. All over. One day only. One day. One day only. And it starts when? It starts tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. and it runs straight through. Some stores are open till 7, some are open till 8, and some are open till 9. Wow. Yes. Great. And great. So we look forward up, to that. Yes, they have to pick up the newspaper, and they will see the final listing of all the stores that are participating okay. in the Freeport News Coupons. tomorrow. Coup Any coupons there? The coupons won't be there, but the, all of the stores and their specials, discounts, and whatever they're offering will be listed in detail. Wonderful. Yes. Okay. All so right. we're live on Kiss 96 FM. We are, and Facebook. So thank you all for joining us. Now we need to get into our show because we have great people up here for us today. We have representatives from the Grand Island Port Authority, the Bahamas Agriculture and Industrial Corporation, better known as the BAIC, the Bahamas National Trust, and our featured business of the day, Ashes Beauty Loft, who has... This one over here looking fantastic from I head to know, toe. right? But Thank I have you, to Ashes. pick myself up a little bit. Look at this beautiful yes, that's necklace beautiful. that very, I have very nice on. Yes, and yes, we're, yes. we're going to talk about them a little bit in our second yes. segment. Right? And they're our featured business of the week. Right. So speaking of featured businesses, if you want an opportunity to be a part of Focus Forward, bring some free advertisement, talk about your business, the only thing you need to do is take your business card and drop it in the Focus Forward jar in the Customer Relations or Licensing yes. Department area. If you're stopping there, drop that card in you will be guaranteed an opportunity to be on the show with us. And listen. And it's free. It's good to be on the show. Of course. That's well, what, what I'm talking, talking about. about. Of course. But listen, but listen. Last week was a good week. Right. Last week, Friday. What happened? Last week, Friday, Zaza and Zorba's Cafe and Pastries had their grand opening. I heard about that. And if you weren't there, you missed a great 
event. Mm -hmm. It had food, it has a little entertainment, it had music, it had drink. Mm -hmm. It was a great night. Everything. From six on, yes. And the Prime Minister was down along with some members of his cabinet. Oh. And it showed confidence in the Grand Bahama community. We also had the 19th anniversary of Bandolero. Mm -hmm. And she okay. culminated that with a fashion show as well. 19 years? 19 years. In Port Lucaya Marketplace. Port Lucaya Marketplace. Wow. You know, Zorbis has been Gotta in. Gotta congratulate them. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations, Bandolero. I, I think uh, Zorbis was in there for 26 years. 26 years really? they've been open. Yes, exactly. That's wonderful. And that speaks a lot about the Grand Bahama economy. That speaks a lot about Freeport. And it also speaks to what these business owners do to keep their doors yes. open every day and to keep their employees and working. they're committed to our economy. That's great. Over all the years, they have not laid off. They've actually increased staff over the years, especially mm. during the hurricane and the time they were closed. Okay. So it's good stuff. That's great. Last week also, last week Friday, the office of the Prime Minister would have launched the self-starter program. And a program for existing businesses to be able to do to give some grant funding and so that's something that's really been hitting the streets over the last couple of days applications are out if you want to be a part of that you can stop to the Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture get a copy of the application or you can stop to the office of the Prime Minister and get a copy of that application and, and this is a new initiative or this is the one this is a again. new initiative, a new initiative. More money. Yes. More money. So more free stuff. More to help our ah, entrepreneurs in there we Freeport. Go. Yes. And also, while I'm mentioning that, Capital Arena today is the last day for that. Last day. Right. So Again. if you have a business, you're thinking about a business, this is your opportunity to be able to get on board with Capital Arena. Submit your business plan today, info at gbpa.com, or package it, drop it to the receptionist area at the Port Authority, and you have a chance to go against the Duke, the Duchess, and the Don. I think the government and the Port Authority are definitely moving in the right direction because all of the initiatives they're putting forth is for small business owners. I'm telling you, next year we're going to have to extend our show just to have more room for all these business owners to come on board. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. Yes. Right? <laughs> all right, well, let's move right on. So today we are joined by someone that is no stranger to Focus Forward. She's been here from the very beginning. She is the Customer Relations Manager at the Grand Bahama Port Authority with responsibility for licensing. She will be leading our roundtable discussion today on how to start a business in Freeport, and I like to hear about her ABCs. We want to welcome Mrs. Nicole Colebrook. Welcome Thank you. Good morning. Good, Good morning, Good morning, Nicole. Good Alex morning. Plenty. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, well, we know we love having you here. Thank you. Of All right. Also joining us is Mistress Anya Lavarti, the project officer at BAIC, and Miss Lonzina Bethel, junior handicraft officer from the BAIC. Welcome, ladies. Good Thank morning. You. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for being here with us. So let's start with Mrs. Colbert. Mrs. Colbert, I believe that knowledge is power. So the sharing of what we're going to talk about in today's discussion, I believe, is critical for all entrepreneurs here on the island of Grand Bahama. For those of us that are interested in venturing into entrepreneurship, a lot of times we believe that the process, particularly when you come to the Grand Bahama Port Authority, may be a little bit difficult. Tell us about the process and how easy is it to get started? Yes, Glendia, the process is very easy. Over the years, we have streamlined the process to make it easier for people to do business. So this is the opportunity for anyone who wants to do business. It's your time. And like you said, it's ABC, and it's just one, two, three. It is that simple. You fill out the application form. You give us your pertinent information. You provide us with your passport, police certificate, and a processing fee of $268.75. It is that easy. And you may say, okay, that's it. Really, that is that's it. That's what I'm thinking. That's that it. is it. Yes, <laughs> that's it. Yes, that's it. So, um, and again, if you come in and you're not sure what you want to do, you can sit with us and you can, we can provide information for you so that you can be guided. Because let's take, for instance, you have your guests here, a clothing store. They may just say clothing. With that, you can add other accessories on there with just, for just the same low price. So it's very easy. We just need to have a conversation. Oh, I like that. All right. Now, I know being a licensee of the Port Authority, I know there are some benefits. But tell our listeners and our viewers, what are the benefits of having a Port Authority license? Okay. There are numerous benefits, and we've also done a lot of initiatives within the last two years. One, as a licensee, you're entitled to have a custom spawn. With your custom spawn, any equipment, machinery, anything you need for the ongoing operation of your business can be brought in duty-free. 
as a licensee or employee, they're also entitled to duty-free concessions. So they can have their uh, one home or their first home duty exempt. Employees? And, uh, yes, they're employees. Wow. And I know a lot of people don't know that. But as an employee, you can have the benefit as well. We have done a lot of initiatives as well to, um, to try to encourage local businesses because each business needs operating premises. But what we decided to do is that we want to encourage everyone to have a business license. So rather than having a large space that they would have to go out and rent, we have something that's called a registered space. Registered space. A registered space. So take, for instance, a service business, travel agent, anyone that's in the service industry, construction areas, and you don't need a large operating premises. Sweeting administrative advisors who are in the Millennium Mall and Immerse Bahamas, they offer this um, registered space where with your business license, rather than getting an entire office, you can just have your name registered or your company registered in that space. So within the first year, that cuts down a loan on your rental. Exactly. Yeah, so these are some of the things that we're doing. Um, also, as, with a, as a member of the Downtown Freeport Business Association, and if your business is diverse or unique, you can get your first year's fees waived. So there are a lot of advantages that we're doing right now. And we're encouraging our licensees or even those aspiring, if you don't know what you want to do, or if you just want to explore the idea, come in, and I'm sure by the time you leave, we'd want to submit your application to us. Ah, and I think that's mm -hmm. key. You know, yes. a lot of people don't realize that they can come in and ask, talk with someone, you know, kind of discuss what it is that they want to do, and then get some help. And and that's where I think the problem comes in. They see the big pink, pink building, building, and they're and fearful. Like, oh, goodness. Right. But, you know, your customer relations department, the persons that are there, they're willing to help, they're open, they're willing to give some advice and some direction and I think that's key for everyone to know. Yes, they're friendly, they're professional and even Glendia, as you know, with the business development department, we have um, the business area where you can go in if you need assistance even after you've opened. There's service there that you can get uh, maybe with your business plan or any wow. ongoing operation okay. that you need, yes. Right. You just need to let us know what wow. area you need us to assist you with, and we're there. We're willing to help. See, that's something right. new I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm you didn't know you. that? I didn't know that. Yes, we well, know Alice, that. what do you think I do all day? <laughs> I really don't know what you do all day. No, but well, I'm, so, you know. I'm so thankful for that. Again, yes. information that we're giving to you, our viewers and our li listeners, the pink building is not something to be afraid of. It's not. They're it's friendly. Not. Yes, we are. Yes, they're approachable. Are. <laughs> they are. And if you have any Great. questions, any concerns, make sure you come on down to the licensing department, customer service relations, and see Nicole. Yes, definitely. Or any of my staff. They're any all of her staff. professionals. They're knowledgeable about the process. So if I'm not there, don't think the buck stops with me. Okay. There, anyone is there. My team members can help you. Great, great. And shout out to the team down at Customer Relations yes, Port great Authority job, Building. Lady. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we want to move on really quickly, Mrs. Lavarity. So I mentioned earlier that Capital Arena is being done by the Grand Bahama Port Authority. That's where they're giving away up to $80,000 for new businesses and existing businesses. They're asking that you submit a proposal or a business plan. And Similarly, the, the program that's being offered by the Office of the Prime Minister is doing something very similar where you have to submit a plan. A lot of people, again, become a little bit afraid and they don't know certain things as it relates to putting that plan together. Now, BAIC offers many things, mm -hmm. but obviously a service where you can get some assistance. So tell us a little about that. Well, it's pretty simple. You can call and make an appointment for business consultation. And when you come in, we walk you through the uh, process of the plan. We have a discussion about what it is you want to do and try to get an understanding of the, your business idea. And um, there are certain things that must be included in your plan. And you have things like your executive summary and your financial projections, your market analysis, and you know a, a few key um, topics. And so we try to go over those things with you and try to get an understanding of what it is because when we write, we have to write your vision as if you know, you're know you writing it. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, the big question, how much does it cost? It's just $100. What? Yeah. $100. Yeah. $100. That's 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 for an entire that's business plan. $107.50. But <laughs> inclusive. Yeah. For an entire business, business <laughs> plan. Yeah. Wow. That you can wow. pay $1,500 somewhere else. Wow, okay. Or more. Um, All right, right. This is, this is shaping up to be an amazing show. Ms. Bethel, tell us a little bit about your role as the Junior Handicraft Officer at the BAIC. Well, as the Junior Handicraft Officer at BAIC, I am tasked with dealing with our artisan education, teaching them about what 
opportunities are available to them. Like Nicole said, there's a lot of opportunities over at the Grand Bahama Port Authority, but there's also a lot of government exemptions and duty-free taxes that they do not have to pay and they do not know about those things. I also deal with um, quality control. So with quality control, artisans can come in during their process of designing their products. They can get review as well as they can get information on branding and marketing their product. Um, I also deal with new artisan training. And with new artisan training, what we do down at the BAIC is we teach artisans how to get into their new small business. That's what Grand Bahama needs right now. So we're teaching them how to do different genres of craft. We have a new facility there, the GBACC, and at that center we have new artisans who do not have a business open shop door that they can come in and they can sell their products on a consignment basis. Okay, great. So you work directly with artisans? Directly with right. them. Because we always, at the Port Authority, of course, we always deal with persons with other types of businesses. And we don't hear, well, I'm sure you may, Ms. Colebrook, but in business development, we don't usually hear about the artisans until they actually do something and we see some of their work or whatever have you. So they can always reach out to you to be able to get some assistance. Definitely. BAIC great. has been open and doing that for years. Fantastic. Well, we definitely want to thank all of you, Mrs. Nicole Colebrook from the Customer Relations Department, manager of the Grand Bahama Port Authority, and of course the lovely ladies from BAIC. Thank you guys thank for you, being with you, us thank today. You. Pleasure. This is fantastic. Alex, you know, I am really excited about all of the information that we're receiving with reference to business plans. It, You know, a lot of times we have business owners that have their business, and they may have opened without a business plan, mm -hmm. and they continue to operate, but when they get ready to expand, or if they decide that they want to go into a bank, for example, or to some institution to be able to get some funding to do whatever it is that they would like to do, there they have the big question, do you have a business plan? Have a business plan. Right. And so now we know that you can get some assistance, of course, from BAIC. Um, you can talk to persons to get assistance at the Grand Bahama Port Authority, customer relations in terms of licensing, because some of that information you need to know as well. You do. So we, we, look, we look forward to persons, you know, as time goes on, we look forward to persons, you know, being able to tap into these resources. And that's what Focus Forward is all about, given that, that positive information. Information. Positive information and all of the tools that they need to start their new business. Yes. I think this show has definitely made a mark, and I think all of our listeners, all of our viewers, the community at large is going to take advantage of this. I mean, everything is out there for you. You've got person to help you write your business plan, create your summary. Um, you have different avenues that you can attain some financing for the fresh start. And even, I like the fact that Minch, the Office of the Prime Minister is offering finances for those businesses that have already been established for a while. Right. You know, because most times for a business owner like myself, we're thinking, oh, they're just giving it to new persons. But no, it's time to expand. It's time to grow. It's time to invest in Grand Bahama. Opportunities for everybody, Port Authority and Office of the Prime Minister. That's great. So as we wrap up this segment again, we want to thank you ladies for being with us. Thank you, ladies. And we want to thank you for being with us. But don't you go anywhere. We're coming right back right after these messages. We have more on Focus for So don't you dare leave us. Don't you dare touch that dial. you're thinking about starting a business or looking to expand and grow an existing business, the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help. We are your complete business resource center, offering a one-stop shop service to aspiring entrepreneurs and existing business owners. Did you know that most startup businesses fail within the first three to five years as a result of poor planning, insufficient funding, and lack of basic business management skills and training? The Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau offers a wealth of resources, information, and support to help entrepreneurs avoid costly mistakes, make wise choices, and plan effectively for a successful business venture. Why risk becoming a statistic? Helping entrepreneurs realize their goals of successful business ownership while working with existing businesses to remain competitive and profitable is what we do. Visit or call us today for more information on how the Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau can help you. Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau, empowering licensees. The Grand Bahama Port Authority Limited and its Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau are proud to announce the GBPA Capital Arena Initiative. The battle for funding just got real. Gladiators, 
Are you ready for the challenge? Earn your chance to face the Duke. The Duchess. And the Don. Gladiators brave and hungry enough to enter the Capital Arena must hold their own in a face-off with our trio panelists of wits, skill, financial know-how, and pure business savvy. If they are successful, they can walk away with up to $15,000 to start or grow their businesses. Gladiators, are you ready? Welcome back, and thanks for staying with us here on Focus Forward. Alex, we had a great first segment. We had a great first segment. Talking about the ABCs and the one, two, threes for starting your business. How and then, of course, it is. how to put together a business plan, some mm -hmm. of the components, and where you can get some help and assistance. And so, so that's put it together for you. Exactly. exactly. And pay $100. $107.50. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that inclusive. That's awesome. Don't forget the fact. Don't forget the fact. Don't forget the fact. All right, so we're going to move forward. Of course, we have yes. a fantastic segment lined up here. And, you know, I feel Christmas when I hear Festival Noel. It you know, is Christmas. Christmas. It is the first yeah. event in December. I can hear those bells ringing yes. in my ear already. And taste the and food. So, yes, tomorrow night is Festival Noel, December 1st. I'm not going to put it all out there. I'm going to allow them to do that, but I'm getting excited about it. That. Okay. Well, here to tell us uh, more about it as well as a free giveaway ticket they're going to have for a lucky viewer or listener is the host of Festival Noel and chairman of the Bahamas National Trust, Grand Bahama Regional Branch. She has been volunteering her services to the BNT for three years and she's enthusiastic about fundraising for the Grand Bahama National Parks. We are pleased to welcome Miss Naoshi Russell. Naisha Russell. Naisha Russell. I, 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 I tried to get that right. Thank you. Yes, yes, okay. yes. All right, and also joining us today is the Director of Parks for the Bahamas National Trust, who has served in various capacities within the organization over the past six years. She resides on Grand Bahama, however, has responsibilities for the 32 Alex. 32, 32 national parks across the Bohemian Park System. She's the boss. It's our pleasure to She's welcome Miss yes. Lakeisha Anderson. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much. It's great to have you. Now, we have something that's about to go on in just a minute because we yes. talked about that ticket, right? Yes, we did. And I don't want to spoil the fun for anybody, but I want everyone to know that we want all of our viewers and listeners to be able to take part of and be able to get great gifts and giveaways. Right. So, of course, if you have won something yes. in the past, unfortunately, you're not, you're not eligible for this one but you know your chance will come in 2018 don't worry about it you can get an opportunity yes, all right yes. so miss Russell what is the trivia question of the day for the festival Noel ticket okay whoever can name the three parks on Grand Bahama will win the ticket oh, 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 oh. Can that's I a good one can I answer no answer? Oh, no okay. no you can't do that okay okay, okay. <laughs> all right so whoever can name all three parks on Grand Bahama so mm -hmm. they have to call where Alex they have to call kiss 96 FM yes three five two seven four four zero I got that right yeah make sure I got it right yep three five two seven four four zero all the right first person to call with the correct answer with the three national parks on the island and I won't tell you what they are because <laughs> I know you really want that ticket, right? I really do. <laughs> All right. And so, Ms. Anderson, tell us a little bit about Festival Noel and what is it that you guys have planned for this year? So, Festival Noel is the major fundraiser for the Bahamas National Trust on Grand Bahama. Well, it's actually the only fundraiser. So, all funds raised through Festival Noel provides financial assistance to the three national parks here on the island. Um, it is the premier event that kicks off the festive season. Yes. Wow. So, yes. it's, a, it's the original wine and art event. Yes. Um, it's from 7 to 10 p.m. We have lots of games, surprises artists, Bristol Wines and Cellars, um, they are our major sponsor, so they're providing all of the wine for the event. And the following day, this Saturday, most of the wines at Festival Noel will be on sale. Okay. So 
cover chance to sample some, some tasty wines from Bristol and make sure that you have your wine guide to go into the store so you can pick up that bottle that you really liked. Yeah, as long as they could get up the next day, because when I, I went to Festival <laughs> Noel last oh, yeah. year, you know, out. such an array. No, yeah. they had such an array of some really nice wines. And then, of course, you know, I'm no connoisseur, so I need someone to explain to me what it is that you're giving, what you're offering, that sort of thing. They did a fantastic job. She um, and yeah. Taste. Yeah. And I, taste yeah, and taste. I did. It was good. And it taste. Was, no, it wasn't that much, but I really enjoyed what they had to offer, and so that was wonderful. Ms. Russell, now you would have been working along with Bahamas National Trust for the last three years, you're a chairman. What are some of the things that you guys do outside of Festival Noel? What are some of the things that you guys do? Well, we maintain the parks. Um, after Hurricane Matthew last year, some of the funds that we raised from last year's Festival Noel went to helping us restore the parks at uh, Rand Nature Center and Lucaya National Park. Um, so that's kind of what we do. Okay, so you guys keep the parks together. Mm -hmm. They do. Wonderful. And Wonderful. if anybody wanted to uh, support the park, what are some ways that they can support the park initiatives? Sign up. Sign Become up. a member. Become, Become a, a member. member. Yes. Yeah. Okay, any costs associated with that? Or it's free? Just come and volunteer your services? Well, you can always volunteer. We yes. always okay. like volunteers, but membership does come at a cost. It okay. just varies based on whether you're an individual or a uh, company or... A family. Okay. Well, great. I definitely encourage our viewers to support. It's dear to my heart because it's our natural resources and it's a beautiful place. Yes, yeah. definitely. And we have our featured business of the day here with yes. us. And of course, you know, I know that you guys have been admiring all of this loveliness that we have yes. on today. All of this loveliness. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks to this lady right over You're here welcome. from Ashes Beauty You're Law. Welcome. You're welcome. welcome to Focus Forward. Why, thank you for having me. Okay, thank now you, you know much. I'm all about small business. So I'm excited to I promote know. today. Ms. Thomas, yes. Ms. Thomas, Ms. Thomas, tell us about what Beauty, Ashes Beauty Love has to offer, and I do believe you have a fashion show coming up. Yes, All yes. Right, tell, us, tell us a little bit about it. Ashes Beauty Love have a lot to offer in terms of style, in terms of quality, in terms of anything in terms of fashion. We have it at Ashes Beauty Loft. Our fashion show is the 3rd of December. It starts at 4 o'clock. A lot of glitz and glam and entertainment will be there. You don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, you don't, it's, it's it's going to be phenomenal. Where is it going to be? It's actually going to, it's going to be at the Regent Center, Suite 30, right in the back of the lawn. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all decorated, so you would know, okay, that's it right there. That's the spot. That's the fashion show. And that's right behind your store. Right behind the store awesome. on the lawn. Awesome. Wow. Yes. Awesome. That's, a new, that's a new entertainment space downtown. Yes. Huh? It's downtown. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's downtown. New entertainment space downtown. Yes. That's yes. wonderful. The Downtown Freeport Business Association is on the move. I know, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. And of course, yes. I'm I believe that Ashes Beauty Loft is a part of that group as well. Ashes Beauty Loft is joining now. Oh, they're joining? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's yes. great. That's wonderful. So we're hoping that everybody will come out and support Definitely. Ashes Beauty Loft. That's December 3rd. What time does it begin? At 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the the afternoon. Yes. 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 You so have the day after. in between to sleep. Yep. Yes. 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 <laughs> rest and catch yourself and be prepared for the fashion yes. show. So it's a full Correct. weekend. Full weekend. Festival right. Noel on the Friday. You have the Saturday to go and shop at Bristol sellers so that you could have something nice to go with your Sunday dinner. And then, of course, 4 o'clock on December 3rd, you want to make sure 3rd. that you are out there yes. to yes. be a part of the wonderful fashion show. Yes. Thank you so much, you ladies. It was great having you. Thank I'm you. looking forward to being at Festival Noel tomorrow. Yes. And, of course, to be out to the fashion show yes. to yes. see all of these new fashions. Yes. yes. And thank you so much again for our pieces. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. This is all You're available welcome. From Beauty Beautiful. Loft. Of course. All right. Now, just before you leave, Ms. Thomas, we would like you to just pick one of our business cards out of our bowl, and this will be our featured business for next, next week. week. Okay, do I look? No. No, don't look. Don't Close look. your eyes. Let's pick. Just pick one. Just pick one. Anyone? Anyone? And, and we can we get have that card, here. please? That card will be We Deliver Now. Oh, yeah. We right. Deliver Now. We Deliver Now. We look forward to seeing you guys on the show next week. Of course, you have to reach out to us, 3509018, for your opportunity to be on the show. Your card has been picked. You just card's have to come picked. and show up. And exactly. we also want to congratulate our winner, Bernadette Mackey, Bernadette won Mackey. the ticket for Festival yeah. Noel. So, Bernadette, I'm coming to look for you. <laughs> It'll be great to meet you at Festival Noel.
Thank you guys for joining us You're today on the show. Idea. Alex, yeah. we always have a good time on Focus good time. Forward. Of course, we want to remind you guys as well, Capital Arena today is the last day to be able mm -hmm. to submit your proposals by 5 o'clock p.m. Make sure to drop it off to the GBPA receptionist mm -hmm. desk. Or, of course, you can email it to info at gbpa.com. Alex, great show today. Great show today. Don't forget, Flash Friday tomorrow. Flash Friday tomorrow. Festival Noel tomorrow. Ashes Beauty, Beauty Loft, Loft December Sunday. 3rd on Sunday. Yes. After you have your wonderful Full Sunday weekend. dinner and that wine, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. We enjoy being with you guys each and every week. Thank you for being here on Grand Bahama's Best Talk Show, Focus Forward, sponsored by Invest Grand Bahama. And until next time, I'm Glendia Sweeting. And I'm Alex Thompson. Informing you on the positive things that happen when you focus forward. You've been listening to Focus Forward, sponsored by Invest Grand Bahama. Like us on Facebook at Invest Grand Bahama Small Business Bureau to stay updated. And drop a business card at the Grand Bahama Port Authority receptionist desk to have your business featured on our show. Tune in next Thursday, same time, same place, for Focus Forward. Forward.